Sports bettors, this video could change your life. I have three picks and a parlay, NFL and college football. Let's get into it. First pick is for Commanders, Eagles. This video will change your life. Watch it, understand profitable sports betting strategies. So, Commanders are best offered at plus 240 on Kasumo, which is a Canadian sports book. Eagles best offered at minus 244 on the Betfair exchange. So why is this valuable? right? Why is this so valuable as a sports better to look at market data, right? This is completely free with odds jam. By the way, any sport you want to look at, anything you want to bet on, player props, team props, totals, spreads, whatever, it's completely free with odds jam, any sport, right? Millions of odds updating in real time. But why this is so important is even if I don't have some of these sports books in my location, like as a sharp sports better, someone who does this full time for a living, it's critical to know where are other sports books pricing things, right? We know that Bet Online is a very sharp offshore sports book. Pinnacle's the sharpest bookmaker in the world. In the Betfair Exchange, so let's go back to Moneyline very briefly. And if we go back to Moneyline very briefly, what we can see is, you know, this is what the market is pricing the commanders at and the eagles at the entire market and what's so fascinating about sports betting is right all of these bookmakers have different odds the lines on DraftKings aren't the same as the lines on FanDuel so the way the pros do it the sharps do it people who bet on sports full-time do it is they look at the market as a whole and they look for value right essentially every sports book their market their odds on both teams is an independent data point, right? You can see right here, there's like, you know, 50 sports books, if you continue to scroll, that are offering odds on the Commander's Eagles game. So as a sharp better, it's really where do we think there's value on the Commanders or value on the Eagles? Now, I don't have a play on the money line. My bet is actually on the total. So what you can see right here is I'm rolling with the under 48. So this is a positive EV bet. And again, the way that odds jam works is it kind of scans the market, right? All of these odds on sports books and looks for discrepancies, looks for inefficiencies, right? It's updating millions of odds like you can see here in real time to show you those few rare opportunities where sports books are slipping up. So we can see in the commander's game, win bet, they have the total at over under 48, right? Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, is pricing this at minus 126. DraftKings pricing this at minus 131. Now, what you'll notice is most sports books have the total at 47, right? DraftKings has it minus 110, minus 110. You know, Caesars minus 110, bet online. So basically, all of the sports books have their mainline market. You can see some of these sports books like Pinnacle, they offer these alternates. <clears throat> Some sports books like Caesars don't have alternate markets out yet, so they just have their mainline total, as it's called, at over under 47. So what you'll notice is, wow, win bet at minus 110, minus 110 juice, we're getting the total, you know, a full point better than everyone else is, right? And you can see, like, the jump from over or under 48 to under 47 is 17 cents. So that one point you know, makes all the difference in terms of a bet being sharp or not, right? We don't want to bet the under 47 at minus 110 odds. We want to bet the under 48 at minus 110 odds, right? So browsing odds with Odds Jam is, again, completely free for any sport you want to bet on. And it's clear, you know, you're going to need multiple sports books. Although this bet is on win bet, there could be a good play on DraftKings, right? All these sports books price lines independently. So you never know when or which sportsbook is going to slip up on a given day, which is why it's critical to have a lot of sportsbook accounts when you're browsing Odds Jam. Sign up for them all. It takes two seconds. As a sports better, you need as many outs as you can get. So this is the play I'm going with, right? Basically, the positive EV tool is a tool that you can blindly bet, right? And it, like all this tool shows you, as you can see, there's like 12 bets or so right now, is all bets in the market where you're actually getting a bet with a mathematical profit margin, right? So, well, is the bet guaranteed to win? No, of course not. That's not possible, right? 
Not every bet you ever place is going to win. That's not the way Odds Jam works. What Odds Jam shows you is the few spots where sportsbooks are slipping up big enough that your bet actually has a mathematical edge that can be quantified, right, into a profit margin. So placing these bets, you know, one bet may not win, but over the course of 250 bets, you know, just due to the law of large numbers, you're going to be up money. So it's really your job to place as many as you can on a daily basis, right? And you don't need a big bankroll to be successful. Like what's so powerful about positive EV betting is you're getting, you know, like this SMU TCU bet, we're getting TCU minus 102. Points bet is pricing this at minus 120, bet online minus 120, and then Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book, minus 122. So clearly insane value at minus 102. Also, they only have minus 102, minus 102 juice, not the typical minus 110, minus 110 juice. That's pretty insane. So definitely want to sign up for a win bet. But what you'll notice is this bet has a 3.34% profit margin, right? So this game is four days away on Saturday. So you're getting a 3.34% return on capital, which is roughly half the return of the stock market in four days. That's the power of sharp sports betting. And that's why people like me can do this full time for a living is it's recognizing that even though this isn't some crazy long shot parlay where you're betting $10 to win a thousand is even if your starting bankroll is very low, when you're getting bets with a 3.34% profit margin in just a few days, your money compounds so quickly, right? When I started positive EV betting, I was betting in like $25 units. Now, you know, like your bankroll will just grow very quickly because your return on capital is on a daily basis. Like you can imagine for the MLB, a lot of times the game's that same day. For college football, a lot of times it's a couple days away. Is this bet just has a ridiculously high profit margin. 3.34% return on capital in four days. I'll take it. So I ended up parlaying these together. This is the first pick I locked in. Under 48, Eagles, Commanders and TCU minus one and a half at minus 102 odds. Two sharp bets with value. And as a sharp better, you're always looking for value, right? It's kind of like being an investor who's allowed to buy every single stock $10 cheaper than everyone else, right? You're just gonna win in the long run because you're buying everything cheaper than everyone else. That's why you're always looking for value as a sharp better, is you're going to the store and you're essentially saying, I wanna bet tonight, but I want all my bets to have a mathematical edge. And you're looking for the bets that are on sale. And you can see pretty clearly TCU minus one and a half at minus 102 is ridiculous value. And once you understand the math behind sharp profitable sports betting and the fact that this return is 3.34% in four days, you'll really start, it'll start to click in how you can make so much money sports betting. This is the first play I went with. So it's a parlay. Gotta love parlays. And again, like another thing is like, what's critical to realize about sports betting is, you know, when you're betting at minus 110 juice, like being able to pick up that extra point in value on an under and get under 48 as opposed to under 47 is really powerful. And the reason is when you're betting at minus 110 juice, you only need to win 52.38% of your bets to break even. The entire sports betting industry is based on vig and juice. The entire sports betting industry is based on the fact that sports books know the average American can't even usually win 51% of spreads and total bets. Usually can't even win 51%. So getting, you know, finding those spots with value where you're picking up a point in a total, a point in a spread, and you're able to get it a point better than the rest of the market, that's how you take your win probability from 50 to 55%. 55% is what the sharps, people who do this full time, make a lot of money from it, uh, uh, are winning at. So that's really important. So I've been tracking my plays, by the way, in this sheet, which will be in the description. You know, we're currently up a grand. Um, so hopefully we can keep it going. We have a couple baseball plays already open for tonight. Dodgers team total over five and a half, Braves minus two. Now, the final play I have is from the middle tool. So I love this tool on Odds Jam, the middle betting tool. Um, what the middle betting tool shows you is quite fascinating. It shows you where are sportsbooks setting the line at completely different levels. So with positive EV betting, 
This just shows you huge discrepancies, the biggest discrepancies in where sports books are pricing a bet. But this, but but you can see here, you know, this TCU bet is at the same level, right? TCU minus one and a half. It's not like win bet is TCU, you know, plus one and a half or something. This is just TCU minus one and a half is a massive discrepancy to the entire market. If you look at Pinnacle with the VIG removed from their market, so if you go to a no VIG odds calculator, you know, if you remove the VIG from Pinnacle's market, the true price for this TCU bet should have been minus 111. We got it, minus 102. Even though the true price with the VIG removed is minus 111. That is how you make the big buck sports betting, my friends. Now, Oregon State USC, this play is ridiculous. And the reason is, it's a middle. What we're able to find here is another situation where all sports books are pricing the over 69 and a half at like minus 130, minus 135, minus 138. Most sports books have the total a point and a half higher at 71. So this is another spot at minus 110 juice where we're getting value and we're winning this bet over 52.38% of the time, which is the break even win rate when you're betting at minus 110 juice. Finding these spots with value and placing a lot of bets you know, like this is really how you start to make the big buck sports betting. So I hammered it for two grand. USC, Oregon State, over 69 and a half. You know, it's a, it was also a positive EV play. You can see Pinnacles pricing this at minus 129. So the sharpest sports book pricing this all the way at minus 129. So the market with the VIG removed is going to be uh, minus 129 plus 109. So the true... The true odds are minus 118. We're betting it at minus 110. So that's why this bet is positive EV, right? It's why this bet is mathematically profitable. This bet is winning 54.07% of the time, which is higher than the break-even win rate you need to beat, which is 52.38% of the time, which is why this bet is positive EV. So we're betting at minus 110 odds, but we're winning 54.07% of the time, and we're staking two grand, so our bet has 64.50 in profit margin, right? This is how you get rich sports betting. You find bets like this, you hammer them with a real mathematical edge you can quantify and you do it consistently. And then you simply refresh the tools and you look for the next bet you should place. That's how the pros do it. That's how the sharps do it. And hopefully that's how you start betting on sports so you stop losing money. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Comment any questions below. Share this with a friend who's trying to make money sports betting. We got some prize picks picks out there. Um, and um, let's see if there's anything on underdog that we can lock in. If not, we'll call it a day. We'll call it a day. So two bets, $2,000 USC Oregon State over 69 and a half. Then we had the two, two leg parlay. Um, which again is in the sheet. So you can just check the sheet to follow along, but it's under 48 in Washington Eagles game and then TCU minus one and a half. Let's make some freaking money.